Not much of an introduction is needed for this one. I know that Queen Nye is still one of the most played legends in gold, and it seems to be the uh, the, the ticket out, the character that people play to try and get elo with. So I figured, you know what? Okay, let's see what I can do with Queen Nye. Let's see if I got one, uh, if I can maneuver it. Queen Nye, my eyes, still one of the worst legends in the game, but when you're in gold, you know, lower rank, where the movement might not be that crisp, might not be that good, people don't know really how to dodge, and uh, you got some pretty good sigs. I mean, hey, the stats and all that jazz, they don't really matter that much when you can do, you know, the, what is this, a snake? And just do that, like, max range. Um, but yeah, I mean, this character, honestly, like, even, even higher rank, you can gain elo with it. The worst legend in the game, I still don't think, is that bad in the grand scheme of it all. Only time it's really going to feel that bad is if, I guess, you're, like, at a pro level. And even then, I think you can probably find a way to make this character useful. Probably more so in twos than in ones, um, just because maybe you can take advantage of the chaos a little more. Like, the last person in competitive Brawlhalla that made this character useful, I, I should say, the last two, really, that I know of, are Hermeson and... Uh, straight to the point Wilson those two are the only two that are bringing any representation to Queen Nye But I mean, okay, like let's be honest if we're, if we're looking at me. I mean, I might just have the hop on this, this is kind of nice um, This character's just always been kind of like mid at best like just just stats are so important in this game They're like the one of the few things that are unique about a character and man with this character it is it is unfortunate that they, they, they gave this character uh, base 3 speed because that is just a recipe for disaster. It makes me wonder what the next character they're going to do dirty is. Um, I don't know how they'll redeem them. Part of me thinks that they're like not even going to do it uh, as far as like giving another legend like really, really low speed. Just because like no one, I don't want to say no one will play them, but it makes them much less appealing. And, uh, like, at least at high level, you know, like in the esports scene, they're not even going to be non existent. But with that being said, the esports scene is only, you know, one part. Like, it's only one minor sect of Brawlhalla. I say that, like, there's, like, multiple parts, but I mean, there's the competitive and there's the casuals, and the casuals definitely outweigh the competitive. Now, if you are in gold, right, you're probably going to encounter this legend a lot, uh, given it is the most popular legend when it comes to gold and when it comes to actually not even platinum but gold for sure uh i looked on brawlmance there's gonna be some tips i can give you to probably like help combat this because you're gonna be seeing a lot of it i would say first thing is just understand that right you can be smarter than your opponent it doesn't take much just understand they're gonna be doing this over and over again the best way to avoid this is to like slide uh slide dodge through so basically doing a spot dodge like Dash spot dodge, that's a good way to get through that sig. A lot of people are going to use it because they can't just edge guard. Um, I mean, if they hit you with that, like, that's just unfortunate. You got red. Uh, I think the biggest thing, though, people struggle with is just not knowing how to deal with, like, a sig like that, right? Like, this guy, for example, he's so eager to get back to stage that he just kind of runs into it. So if you just take the time to collect yourself, it's going to help a very, very good amount. Now, also... I think Katars are one that people are going to tend to struggle with. And Katars, I think, uh, they're pretty good. But also, just understand that a lot of the time, people, when they're playing Queen Nye, especially in gold, they're just going to be going for the Sigs. And that's not even just Queen Nye, that's just about any character. If you can look out for the Sigs, you know what to look out for, you're going to have a much better time playing against this character. The key is to never feel rushed when you're playing against anyone. Um, you want to make them feel like they're on your time, but especially with a character like Queen Nye, who's slower, playing faster characters in general, right? Having that speed advantage is going to help a lot. So I think that can be something that definitely is extremely, extremely useful. Also, if you're playing like Scythe, Cannon, anything that can take a character like super far off stage at early health, that's also going to help just because they're not going to have the mobility to get back as easy. Um, even even if they do have the speed, sometimes just the positions you can put people in, it's really, really good if you're smart about where you pick your shots. Uh, but yeah, just never feel like you're forced to go in. I think that's the biggest thing that people like, I don't know, they, they don't use the momentum when they get it, but also sometimes they're too afraid in a way to even begin that or to even try. You have to be willing to try. You have to be willing to go in and take at least some risk. And if you're not, well, eh, then it's unfortunate. Okay, I'm going to hit the half fuck on this guy. Let's see. Let's see if I got it. I mean, it's literally, uh, well, I'm just bad. I'm not a guitar player for a reason. 
All right, and do it one more time and be sick. It also pains me that I can't really uh, really test Queen Nye, you know, in the competitive. I mean, I could, but it's not my place. Also, I forgot to mention one other person who plays Queen Nye. I'm probably better, maybe, at least more recently than others, and that would be uh, Stingray. I forgot Stingray actually plays Queen Nye. And he's found... He's found some success with it. I don't know if he's... He's definitely won, like, sets with it, but none that I've seen. I mean, I just remember seeing him play it against, like, Cody or something once or twice. Maybe maybe it was someone else. I forget who, but I know there was, like, someone I remember seeing on stream, and he played Queen Nye. Of all things. Um, yeah, Nye's just... Nye's just an odd character. Got drip, though. This skin is drip. And also, I will say that the, uh, the Valentine's Day one, really good as well. The uh, Asuka, which is like, uh, what is it? It's the uh, the wrestling one. Um, that one's really, really good. That's the one I usually run because I also like the sound of the SIGs. And, you know, it's just different. It makes me feel like I'm not playing Queen Nye, which I can greatly appreciate a lot of the time. And, okay, something that every person I've played, you've probably seen it multiple times. I've done the sidelight into D-SIG. If you are a Queen Nye player, do that. It's really, really good. But also, you got to know when to stop. I remember when I played straight to the point Wilson at I think Dreamhack Dallas and he was like my top eight match and I he was my gatekeeper. I had such a hard time playing against that guy. Well then I figured out I'm like wait, he just does sidelight into dare over and over again. If you just don't dodge like spot dodge or like dodge in or anything to where the DC can hit you, you're gonna be safe. Like, diagonal up is always good, especially in gold. Just, like, remember these few things that I told you with? Hopefully, they help at least somewhat, or you guys can apply them in some way. If you're a Queen Nye player, maybe you'll learn something as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed. A little bit of a shorter video, but either way, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.